there! I wanted to do a quick video on how to do a forecasting example in Tableau. So the help.tableau.com website has a great article that you should look at about how forecasting works in Tableau. So basically it reviews the algorithms and it talks about that it uses exponential smoothing and basically what that does is it's weighing the averages of past values in a series. So you can check this article out about seasonality, the different model types, um, and so on. So what I'm going to do is just show you how quickly you can apply it in a Tableau worksheet. So I created this visualization here. I just have um, order date on the columns shelf set up as um, month continuous and then I have the sum of sales on rows so you can see I've got some seasonality here um, so what I'm gonna do is just quickly go to the analytics tab and underneath model you'll see that there is a forecasting option so if you click on that forecast you can drag it right to this sheet that pops up that says add a forecast so once you do that you let go Tableau will automatically add this estimate at the very end here. So my data go only goes up to October 2021 since I'm using an older version of Sample Superstore and Tableau forecasted the next couple of months. And you can see that there is an arrow here. They put forecast indicator on color and there's also an arrow on sum of sales. So if you click on sum of sales, there is a forecast result option here with a bunch of different options here such as trend, precision, precision percent, and so on. Um, and you can also go up to analysis and there's a forecast option here. So you can go to analysis, forecast, and click on describe forecast if you want to see what this particular um, model is doing. It's telling you the time range. Um, it'll tell you the measure, it'll tell you all of the information, especially that it's ignoring the last month. And if you click on the models tab, you can um, see how it's computing the model here. Um, so I'm going to go back up to analysis and go to forecast and click on forecast options to show you that you can, you know, um, adjust your forecast a little bit more. You could do um, automatically, you can see there's this option for exactly, um, or you can do months, years, you, you know, you can see the granularity there. And you can see until, you know, if you wanted to adjust items there. Um, there's also aggregation where you can adjust the source date data aggregation. Right now it's in months. You could do years, quarters, you know, what have you from that drop down. You could also check this box for fill in missing values with zeros and you can also click on the forecast model there is an automatic without seasonality um, there's also custom just keep in mind when you're selecting seasonality it's also you know it's gonna be scanning your data so it might be a little bit faster sometimes to or you know optimize performance if you select that automatic without seasonality but you can also select custom and select your trend type and your season type here. Um, you can also um, show your prediction intervals. You can click on 90%, 95%, 99%. Um, but as always, you know, no forecasting model is ever going to be 100% um, accurate. So I'm, ta I'm changing it back to automatic. And this link here will take you to um, basically, you know, another link on forecast items here you know, how you can configure your forecast um, items and give you more information about the modeling and so on. So just wanted to show you a brief video about how you can apply forecasting somewhat quickly to a line chart. 